What? I got a pee. Oh, I peed like three times. <laughs> <laughs> it's gross, but hey, you gotta go, you know? Last time aboard Freedom, Sully and I said farewell to Sean as he left on a business trip before heading out on our own road trip to Squim, Washington. In an attempt to check off a long-standing item on my Pacific Northwest bucket list, we drove to the Olympic Game Farm where we got to drive around and meet some impressive wildlife up close and personal. Now it's time to jump on a plane and meet Sean in the yachting capital of the world, Fort Lauderdale. We only had a day to spend here before moving on to our next destination. So we checked out the area, watched some birds, and stalked some insanely large waterfront homes before heading off to paradise. We are here in Florida. We are in Fort Lauderdale. We are waiting for our rental car. Hopefully all is good because every rental car seems to be taken in the state right now. So we're gonna leave Fort Lauderdale in just a few minutes and drive to the Keys. It's gonna be about five hours, I think, so. We did order a Jeep and I think it's a four-door. Sweet set of wheels, man. Yeah, it's kinda cool, huh? Yeah. It was. First time we've ever been in like a New car in a while. Yeah. The pool awaits, sweetie. We gotta go. Let's go find our way to the pool then. All right, Sully. You ready, buddy? In the nearly 17 years Sean and I have been married, we've only taken a vacation like this five times, including our honeymoon. And by a vacation like this, I mean one that requires us to board an airplane and stay at a hotel versus jump aboard our own boat and stay at a marina or an anchorage. But since we've always wanted to do a road trip and have a few reasons to celebrate right now, we figured there's no time like the present to take a mini road trip to the Keys before visiting Sean's family in Fort Myers later in the week. Since we've got some time to kill, I looked up a few fun facts about the Florida Keys. Did you know that there are 800 keys stretching over 180 miles with the largest being Key Largo and the most populated being Key West? There are also 42 bridges connecting all of the islands with the longest being Seven Mile Bridge at 37,000 feet in length and the shortest being Harris Bridge at only 37 feet in length. And if you're a Pitbull fan like I am, you'll be happy to know that the area code in all of the keys is 305. I feel like we're getting close. Are we getting close? We are 0.6 miles away. Hey. Nice way to get around. Uh-huh. We just need to take the doors and the roof off of this thing. It's a <laughs> golf cart. After five hours on the road, we arrived at the Perry Hotel at the Stock Island Marina Village, just in time for primetime sunshine. 
And I'll let you guys know right now, this hotel is a pretty fantastic place to stay if you love boats just like we do. How nice is this? It's nice. Now when people ask us if we miss land life, coming here makes me kind of think yes. <laughs> What do you think, buddy? What do you think? Once we checked out our room and made sure Sully approved, we took a walk through the marina and daydreamed about what it would be like to have freedom in a place like this someday. Probably pretty awesome. If only Key West wasn't so far from Seattle. But where there's a will, there's always a way. It's a big no-no. Huh? It's a big no-no on vacay. Oh, it wasn't working. A fellow boater wanting to get, wanting some waxing tips. Waxing tips. Nice. Do you need some more oil on your shoulder? As we stockpiled some much needed vitamin D, Sean and I brainstormed various scenarios that might help us get freedom to a place like this sooner rather than later. All highly unlikely, but still fun to daydream about. And we met some of the locals too. The next day was, you guessed it, another perfect day. So we decided to take Sully to the beach. PFD in there, buddy. And some water. Some water. All Which right. way is the beach? Let's rock. No, you're supposed to do it. Well, I, I... Yeah. That away. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we totally didn't plan accordingly. We never bring, we, we packed light, meaning we packed like nothing. So we have our laundry bag as our beach bag. And the hotel was great. They gave us extra towels and water and an extra laundry bag to carry it all in. But uh, So we're the fools going to the beach with our plastic <laughs> Our plastic laundry bags, bags yeah. But uh, yeah, I can't say enough. Like this marina, we've got to find a way to get here someday. Definitely. We can't go back to Seattle. I think our, our days in Seattle need to be very limited and we need to be here ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> our hotel offers a convenient shuttle service every hour into Key West that'll drop you off at any of the beaches. But since we have a car, we took a 10 minute joyride to find the best looking beach with easy parking. Smathers Beach surprisingly had tons of good parking, so we made this our first stop. Although it was a great spot, we didn't stay long once we learned that this beach technically only allows service dogs. Sorry, buddy. So we drove a little farther south to a special dog beach, which was perfect for both dogs and humans. Are we doing street bathing? <laughs> trying, trying to desand oh. them a little bit. Do you have sand in your pants, buddy? 
So silly, you be good. We have below deck yeah. on for you. Be good. If you want to look outside at the yacht, you're more than welcome. Okay, bye, bud. You're never going to guess, but the next day was yet another perfect day and a great day for some scuba diving. So we are going on a two tank dive in just a few minutes. We're waiting for our dive boat and then we are going to do two reefs, 30 feet each. So pretty easy dives. And we had our refresher course. At least I needed one because it's been three or four years since I've dove um, Sean just a couple weeks ago. So it's a beautiful day. The wind has calmed down. We did take Dramamine, but hopefully we don't need it. And hopefully there's good visibility. Excited for the dive? I am. Let's do this. Yeah. Baby jumps. The Florida Keys are a popular destination for scuba divers because of the abundance of reefs. In fact, the island chain is home to the continental U.S.'s only living coral barrier reef, which runs the length of the Keys about five miles offshore. Today's dives are a little more than five miles offshore at two shallow reefs, one of which has a resident shark that we sadly didn't get to see. While these reefs weren't the greatest dive sites from an overall visibility standpoint, at least not today, breathing underwater and enjoying this whole new world is the absolute best experience ever, and something we plan to start doing a lot more of up in the Pacific Northwest. And fun trivia question for you all, can you guess how old I was when I got PADI certified 27 years ago? Sit out here. Crack a Diet Coke. <laughs> what? Oh, I've peed like three times. <laughs> it's gross, but hey, you gotta go, you know? All right. So we are all showered up. We had a great day diving, and now we are headed to downtown Key West for some dinner and more key lime pie. Sully's not too pissed off. He, uh, he's been in the hotel all afternoon and half of this morning, so tonight's a little bit of making it up to him. But, uh, he, Sully! Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna survive, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> he is loving Key West. Key West is the most dog-friendly place I think we've ever been. And he's welcome everywhere. Restaurants welcome dogs, so it's a pretty awesome place for him. Key West is known for its unique architecture and famous homes, the most famous being that of Ernest Hemingway. By the time we passed by, it had closed for the day, but it sure was a beautiful home from the outside. At only 4.2 miles in size, the southernmost U.S. city has a rich history, friendly people, a fantastic food and nightlife scene, and a thriving rooster population. We were starving, so we randomly picked the Grand Cafe, which certainly didn't disappoint. You didn't think we were gonna forget about dessert, did you? It's vacation, so we got a half a pound cookie and the world's best key lime pie. Like, for real, the best. So Sean, is this your first time here? <laughs> this place is the best. The best cookies and the best key lime pie. A 
Okay, last fun activity of the day. We are going jet skiing and I have to go get a gator because I feel a little too bare. Can't wear my hat obviously on the jet ski and I want to protect my face. So I'm gonna see if there's a gator here and then we are gonna grab our jet skis and go. And the cool thing is I think we're the only people doing the jet ski trip. So it'll just be Sean and I and the guide. Good to go, we're good to go. All right, and our jet skis are right here by the hotel, so it's super convenient. After staring at these puppies for the past few days, we couldn't resist one final hurrah, taking them on a tour of Key West to see the island from a different perspective. And man, was this a fun time had by all. Greg from Perry Excursions took us on a guided 90-minute trip around Key West, Sunset Key, some popular anchorages in the area, a mangrove, and just around for an enjoyable ride. How was it, Sean? Awesome. Really that was fun time. such a fun time. You were like in heaven <laughs> out there. You're in your happy place. I was. It's fun to not rent the jet ski for an hour and just do circles, you know? To, yeah. To be on a little guided tour around the island. Yeah. It's super fun. It's pretty like awesome. You had a destination. Yeah. Well, totally worth it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I had a blast. Yeah. I loved it. It was warm. I'm pretty salty right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sweetie, mm. great end to a fun day, the eve of your very special birthday. Cheers. Cheers. And to us, maybe someday living in Key West. Thanks for joining us on our trip to Key West. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to come back with us to real life boat life in the Pacific Northwest. We'll see you next time.